Okay, we're back in. So, tuck the palm. Ah, the box shape situation. What do we do? Just gonna grab here. Could grab any one of them. I don't think there's major benefits to either side. Just uh, grab here. Moving the knight obviously is quite tasty. Bring the bishop here is also just leaning on the king a little bit. And is there anything else before I go and lose my knight? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, if he takes the knight, we push on a little bit further. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't, and ooh, it's still on my bishop. Okay, so that might have been a bit of, of overzealousness there. Uh, so I'm losing pieces left, right, and center. That's my own fault. Knight's going to take all my life. Losing my bishop. How has this happened? Du -du -du -du. Okay, let's lose a piece of some sort. <laughs> Grand, okay, so... Let's take a bit of a knight here. Let's take a bit of a pawn. And we're down so many pieces now, it's unreal. That was so messy. That didn't need to be messy like that. I did it totally wrong. Absolutely wrong. <laughs> okay. But their king can't move, so <coughs> he's going to have to virtually castle. <coughs> Excuse me. So he's going to have to spend a bit of time now trying to get his king to safety. The bishop's going to go in front so that he can start manoeuvring. So then we can take a pawn off here, or it just moves the king out of the way. That's the pluses I'm taking from this. <laughs> it's not a very good plus, but we can see what we can do. So he's moved the king out of the way instead. And let's just develop so that we're linking the rooks up. Maybe we can start pressuring. So he's protecting the pawn. Yeah, he's fearful of losing that. So one check, it's probably going to try and hide into the corner, get this knight out and get this rook out and he's not doing that just yet so I'm going to bring this rook here with a check, it's maybe trying to come this side then, okay, and we don't have a dark square bishop which is a shame, can't even go here, maybe lock down a little bit on this side. Yep. So it's kind of pinning the knight if he's wanting to get rid of. I don't know. Or he might be blocking us somehow. His knight could come here blocking, but we'll still get the rook for free in a sense. I was, was looking to come here, maybe come this side with the knight. Don't want to block the rook off, maybe. And not forgetting we do have the bishop here, which at the moment isn't doing much. But we can come here, but not yet, because the bishop is still there. So I can envisage this, so that then this bishop comes here to then attack the rook on this side. So while he's doing that, whilst that pawn pushes down, he doesn't push down. Huh. Doesn't push down, and he's got my rook as well, which is a shame, isn't it? Hmm, that's a shame. We could bring our rook up, but then if we did that, his rook just takes and then we lose both rooks. I can't come back down here. I can come and attack his bishop, but I'm looking to reduce down. He's going to take our rook. 
that's a shame really I didn't really want it that way but he still does have this pin his rook is pinned so he's probably going to try and make some space for his rook but then his knight is still pinned and he's only got a dark square bishop so it might have worked in our favour unless of course he does if he does that he still loses his rook so he's got an awful pin on him I think So fingers crossed we've come out of the ugly opening that we <laughs> that was terrible. That was terrible. It still is, but it's making don't want to trap my rook as well. That's another thing. White square bishop now can do something, can't it? So we're bringing the knight back up again to try and attempt oops. Attempt these sort of things. Can my rook be trapped? Oh, what have I done? I've given him a pawn. Yeah, but we can go and attack this pawn. If his bishop tears, we take this pawn here. Yeah. Is there anything else? Let's attack the pawn. I don't want to be greedy. I don't want to trap my rook, but I don't think there's a trap, is there? So, well, it's not giving up, it's not giving that up. Knight attacking the knight. But his bishop's wanting to stay on this diagonal, so probably hiding in the corner here. Oh dear, okay. Right, what do we do with this situation now then? Don't want to lose time here. Um, we could push onto the pawn, can't we? If he takes, takes. If he pushes down, take. Pawn, the bishops. Oh, here we go. What's all this about now? So he's giving his space for his rook, but at the same time he's uh, challenging our pieces. So a knight could come here. Let's go here. Does have options then of putting a fork on the bishop and the rook. 255. They're ahead on time. Terrible, terrible opening trying to get a half decent position for the end game we're annoyingly pinning the knight to the rook at the moment but I think the opponent's trying to find a way of making that work for them we could bring the knight back around and attack in the bishop let's just get the bishop in the game they're looking for something to be able to get a balance back knight comes out not yet. It's this dark square bishop in it. Dark square bishop attacking the knight. If they do that, we can still go. Oh, let's grab this um, opportunity. And we're going to take the rook, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to take the rook. Bishop takes. And then we can take the knight. Oh, that was so close. Oh, 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 oh. So, hold on, hold on. So, we'll get the bishop with a fork. So, we are going to take the bishop, aren't we? We could come here, but then his king comes round and we lose tempo. These are things that you got to think about. Because um, I could come here, but then his king just comes around the side. Then the knight can't take because the king will take the rook so we may as well just take the bishop off the board and the opponent's still playing on so they're looking to either flag me now or something so I need to be focused still playing on let's go here faster now faster wow look at that instant defense Shit. Oh, 
probably wanting to jump here do you see that defense then with that knight that was quick let's give them something to think about pushing this pawn up now Looks like it's going so slow. Come on. It's coming down for the bishop. Time is running out. So really surprised we've got to this position here, especially from that shocking opening. But it's, I suppose it's games like these where you really sort of test your metal as to using your own proper chess feel, the soul of chess. I enjoy them more. <laughs> I don't like making mistakes, obviously, you know. But it does help with the soul of the game, especially if you're playing against somebody who's playing true. They're not playing and get using an engine. They're just playing human chess. Um, it's more enjoyable. I think the opponent's letting the time run that run down. Well, she's so got some magic. Let's just push the pawn. Attacking here, Let's, uh, we could still push the pawn, couldn't we? I don't want to take any chances. Oh, he's got like a check on my king. He's coming for the check on the king here. And another check. It's behind the pawn now. So, oh, okay, time's up. So yeah, terrible opening, not going to look at the analysis on that one, that was a shabby game.